guys, it's Jasmine, and today I wanted to share a list of the more common flowers that are toxic, poisonous, and even fatal to your cat. I also wanted to share a list of common and beautiful safe flowers that you can keep in your household and receive as gifts from your many gentlemen suitors because who doesn't love a cat lady? Before we get started, please make sure to click that subscribe button below and also click the little bell icon right next to it because I do put out weekly videos every cat or day. And also make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm going to share something that I created for you guys to go along with this video and help make sure you keep your fur babies safe. So first things first, there are over 400 different plants and flowers that are toxic to your cat according to the ASPCA. So in this video, I'm just naming the ones that are more commonly brought into households or put in gardens or given as gifts. Now, all of these plants that I'm about to name should be avoided if you have any cats. And there is one plant or flower that is on this list that hopefully you already know about because if not, this will be really important information to keep your cat safe. Even a little bit of some of these plants, and not even consumption, but even if a cat brushes one of these plants and then proceeds to groom itself, it can prove fatal. If you do have an indoor-outdoor cat, make sure to take heed of this list and maybe exclude any of these plants or flowers from your garden. So what are some of these common plants and flowers that are toxic and potentially fatal? to your cat. These plants include aloe vera, amaryllis, also known as belladonna or naked lady, asparagus fern, azalea, baby's breath, which are those little white decorative flowers that are often included in bouquets and arrangements, begonia, bird of paradise, branding ivy, caladium, cardboard palm, carnations, Ceramin, or ceraman, I might be pronouncing some of these wrong, it's also known as hurricane plant, Chinese jade, chrysanthemums, dahlia flowers, daffodils, everlasting pea, flamingo flowers, hyacinth, gladiola, mistletoe, poinsettias, primrose, and tulips. But which flower is the most harmful one that you definitely want to keep out of your house and out of your garden? That would be lilies. This includes lily of the valley, easter lilies, tiger lilies, rubrum, stargazer lilies, Japanese show lilies, asiatic lilies, and this includes all parts of the lily. So that means the stems, the leaves, the flowers themselves, and even the water that the lily is growing in. Consumption of just two leaves off of a lily plant has proven fatal to cats. Not only that, but like I mentioned before, even if your cat brushes against a lily to get some pollen on its fur and then proceeds to groom his or herself, that can also cause it to be poisoned or even die. Not only that, but even if you brush against a bunch of lilies and then come home and the cat brushes his or herself against you, it is highly likely that your cat will suffer from some kind of toxicity symptoms. So what are the signs and symptoms of toxicity if you are scared your cat has been exposed to any of these plants, especially any lily? What you want to look out for is lethargic behavior, vomiting, mouth itching, or decreased interest in food. Usually it's very frequent urination, followed by the complete cessation of urination, weakness, and coma. It's really important if you suspect that your cat may have ingested any of these plants or flowers or may be suffering from toxicity that you take them to the vet as soon as possible so that they can treat them properly. Do be aware that with lilies in particular, if your cat has suffered toxicity, even after the treatment that the vet can provide, it's very highly likely that your cat will have permanent kidney damage for the rest of his or her life. This is why it's so important to do your research and this is why it was so important for me to make this video because in an ideal world, every time somebody got a kitty and brought it home, they would also get a little pamphlet of information with really important things like this to make sure that your cat stays safe. You would even think that florists might have a cat-friendly seal for bouquets because so many of these flowers that I mentioned are included in so many beautiful bouquets. 
but that can't be promised so it's really important to take responsibility and that's also why I highly suggest you share this video and what I created for you. If you go to catladyfitness.com backslash safe flowers, you will find an infographic that I made for you, which includes some really beautiful options for safe flowers that are non-toxic for your cats. And those include roses, which is awesome because as we all know, roses are super popular and very often given in bouquets. Just make sure they don't include baby's breath because that is highly toxic to cats. Other safe flowers include flowers from the aster family like African daisies, zinnias, African violets, Gerber daisies, but just make sure they are Gerber daisies and not real typical white daisies with the yellow center because those are super toxic. Lavender, which is an herb, which I didn't include any in this list besides lavender, but it is also very popular, so I thought it would be good to add for you guys. My personal favorite flower, thank goodness, sunflowers, orchids, and jasmine flower. Now do be aware that although these are considered non-toxic, if your cat does ingest a significant amount, it will likely cause some kind of GI distress in your cat's system. If you're even the slightest bit concerned that there might be something wrong with your cat, just make sure to take it to the vet to be safe and ideally you want to bring a sample of the potential plant that you think could be causing this distress. It's also important to remember that you can't depend on florists to have this knowledge either because if you google for yourself or look online you will read tons of horror stories of cats who have gotten really really ill or even died from nibbling on plants that were given as gifts as bouquets or arrangements in the house and you will especially find a lot of horror stories about lilies in particular. I'm honestly curious to how many of you guys have experienced something maybe unfavorable in terms of your cat ingesting a certain plant or if you were even aware that some of these plants I mentioned today were that harmful for your furry baby. Please remember to click that thumbs up if you found this video helpful and to share it and also to get your infographic at catladyfitness.com backslash safe flowers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you keep your kitties safe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.